Hey there, this is Raspberry Pi Pico, a microcontroller from Raspberry. And here is a new, I mean one year old microcontroller and this is called Raspberry Pi Pico W. It has Wi-Fi capability, you can see both microcontrollers. Both are similar and you may notice an extra chip on the Pico W that is responsible for the Wi-Fi. Here is a small home automation that I made using Raspberry Pi Pico W. With this we can control any AC appliances using this web app. So if you want to know how to build similar, just follow this video. Now let's get started with this video. These are the components needed for making this home automation. You can find the complete list from the site. I use a common PCB to place and solder all the components. This is just placing and soldering components according to the circuit diagram. By the way, you can download the circuit diagram from the site. The link is given in the video description. I am using a high link 5 volt converter to power this circuit. First, I soldered that converter. Then I soldered these relays to control the AC appliances. After that I soldered some transistors and complementary components to drive these relays. You can, you can also use optocoupler if you want more isolation. After completion of soldering, the PCB looks something like this. Now let's program the Pico. The software side of this project including the web app is developed by my friend and you can find his github link from the description. Before starting you have to install this on your computer. An IP scanner, I am using Ankri IP scanner, Sony IDE and Node.js. Now let's start, first download the zip file given in the site and unzip it. First go to the build folder and open commands. And type npmi, this will install all necessary libraries. Next type npm run build. After that connect the Pico to the computer and open Tony IDE. Now go to run then select configure interpreter and click on install or update micro python. Then select the target volume as raspberry pi Pico and select Pico W micro python variant. Now install it. Now go to view and files. So we can see Raspberry Pi Pico here. Then go to tools, manage packages and now search and install few. Now we can see the lib folder appear in the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now select the downloaded build file. Select the upload root directory option. After that, open the python codes. We have two files main.py and secret.py. Update your Wi-Fi credential in secret.py. We need to save these files in Raspberry Pi Pico. For that, go to File, Save As, and give the same file name and save it. After saving, click on the Run icon and we can see the messages in the shell. Now to find IP address, open the angry IP scanner and scan. After scanning, you can see the IP address of our device. Just paste this IP address into any browser to access the app. And that's it, now let's test. 
and you can see the work key. To enclose everything, I have designed a round shaped enclosure in Thinkercard and I printed it with my Enter 3 video. Here is the enclosure. Now I have secured everything inside the enclosure and placed the LEDs on this side. Then I connected 4 AC bulbs to the circuit. Now you can see the working. You can download the complete code and circuit from my website. Link is given in the video description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, consider supporting me by liking, sharing, and subscribing. It's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.